Welcome to another episode of The Key to Healthful Living. As Hippocrates once said, let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food. Today, we are privileged to have Salon Nikki Thompson, the owner of Interchin. And Nikki's restaurant has been voted Wilmington Best Restaurant for 10 years in a row by On Call Magazine. And she's going to show us how easy and simple it is to prepare healthful salad like her banana blossom salad and Thai papaya salad at home. She also take us into her restaurant to learn how to make the dressings and what makes them so healthy. It's all coming up on The Keys to Healthful Living. Nikki, I love your authentic Thai and uh, Vietnamese food. You use not only fresh food, but you also use the ingredients I love very much. Um, in, in Nikki's uh, cooking, normally there are three ingredients, which are capsicum, which is a cayenne pepper, uh, garlic, and ginger. Um, could you tell us more about yourself and history of about how you become the owner of this restaurant and where you're coming from? Um, well, it started like uh, I was looking for a nice restaurant mm. to take my guests mm -hmm. to eat. Mm -hmm. And I could not find anything that I felt was good enough to go out, you know, in the Asian restaurant style. So mm -hmm. I just found this place, you know, through the kindness of friends that show me and people, you know, and the gentleman that sold me this building was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I opened this restaurant and I keep in mind that when I opened this restaurant, I wanted to serve food that was not only good for the body, but for the mind, you know. So uh, it's sort of a responsibility to give back to the community, awesome. you know, for not only for my uh, guests but also for myself mm. you know so I'm very healthy conscious you know before I did not understand mm -hmm. about all the herbs mm -hmm. but since then I know so uh, I just have to follow all this um, reading about what you know hot pepper does capsicum and garlic and ginger and so I try to mix all that in my food mm -hmm. There's something about Asian cooking. Um, we cook most of the food, and I love your papaya salad. Your papaya salad consists a lot of enzymes called papain. Um, could you show us your papaya salad? And another dish I love a lot is the uh, banana blossom salad, and that has a lot of uh, digestive fiber. Uh -huh. um, as we all know that without digestive fiber, uh, we will have problems to remove toxins from our colon. Mm -hmm. Well, in my banana blossom, I use, you know, the banana uh, fiber, fruit fiber, but I also use carrot, which mm -hmm. is also a very, you know, raw carrot. Mm -hmm. And I also use raw um, uh, turnip. Mm -hmm. and cilantro. It's yes, and cilantro, mint. mint. But in the papaya, mm -hmm. I use green papaya. Mm -hmm and tomato and cilantro and uh, you know hot chili fresh hot chili lots of lime because you know the lime alkalize your body also mm -hmm. food in you know you know that cannot be cooked over 104 degree yes right so this is not cooked but if you're going to have some uh, cooking you know if you can cook something to 104 then you you know, will keep your body healthy. And mm -hmm. I'm trying to achieve that, you know, and explain that to my customers. Mm -hmm. Nikki, this papaya salad is so good. Is that easy to make at home? It's very easy. I'd be glad to show you. Nikki says that when preparing any meal, it's best to start with the freshest organic ingredients to retain all the healthy qualities like carrots, green papaya, and tomatoes. One carrot would do, 
in our whole carrot. I've already made some, so you can put that in here. And this, what we're making, is the beginning of a Thai papaya salad. This is a green papaya salad. You can peel this off, you know, like that. When you do it at home, this is how you do. And then you use the same concept, you know, to shred the papaya. So I've done some already over here, pre-done. So you can take that and mix it. And it's like eating, you know, Asian spaghetti, but with a lot of um, enzyme. Yes. So with this, you can add in um, a little bit of shrimp, you know, powder. Dry shrimp. Dry shrimp powder, just, you know, just a little bit. Like Some people don't like it. If you're allergic to shrimp, you don't have to put it in. Where can we get it? Uh, you can get that any Asian market. And um, also, you can use some hot pepper. Mm -hmm. And also, this is very good for caps capsicum. Capsicum. You just use a little bit of that, you put it in here. Also garlic, you put the garlic in. I have a dressing that is already made, okay. And then you can take, if you're allergic to peanut, you don't wanna put it in, but peanut is very good for, for this salad. You know, it's traditional Thai. Mm -hmm. So you can do that. You can also add cilantro. You can add um, green onion if you like. And also you can add um, tomato. Once all your ingredients are together, toast the salad well, making sure everything is blended together and coated with dressing. Then transfer to serving dish and serve. How easy and beautiful is that? Bon appétit. Mm -hmm. A fresh and helpful type of papaya salad. And when we come back, Nikki will show us how to make the Thai papaya salad dressing and how it is so good for your body. <laughs>